Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to submit a secondary insurance claim. We're going to start by going to our patient's ledger, and we're pulling up Jared Martinez. Looking at Jared's ledger, I can see that we have a couple of items that went out to the insurance company for the primary insurance payment, but we've yet to receive payment. Let's go ahead and post the payment on that so we can submit the secondary insurance. So I'm going to click New Insurance Payment from my Options menu, put in my check number, and the original amount is the amount the primary insurance has paid. We're going to go ahead and say they did not pay anything, so we're still wanting to post a zero amount so we can close the primary claim. I'm going to save my changes and distribute the payment. The current charges that I'm wishing to close the claim on are listed down here at the bottom with today's date. So per each item, I'm going to go ahead and put a zero under the payment column, indicating we did not receive any payment and the claim is closed. Once I hit post payments and close, we'll see that one claim is marked as paid. We'll click OK. And then the computer recognizes there is a secondary claim to be printed. I'm going to go ahead and say yes to print it now. And under my choose a report section, I'm going to go ahead and choose my official ADA form. If you're using the 2003 or the 2006 format of the ADA form, you'll simply select the form that says secondary next to the 2003. I'm going to go ahead and use our official 2012 form, and I want the secondary format. That is essentially what's going to swap the insurance data from primary to secondary insurance on the claim forms. So I'm going to select the secondary form, click OK, click OK once again. And if we scroll down just a little bit, we can see that Delta of Massachusetts is now listed as the insurance company we're billing. However, the patient's primary insurance is BAJ, which is now down here on the bottom. So this indicates that the claim is now going to the secondary insurance company, and I would print that out, make a copy of my EOB, and stick it in the mail. You can also fax this into the insurance company along with a copy of the EOB. If I close this screen and someone else is doing the posting of the primary EOB and you miss your opportunity to print out the secondary when prompted, your alternative is to find the primary claim under the claim screen. So I'll click on claims. I'm looking for Jared Martinez claim. Here's the claim for Jared Martinez showing that the primary claim status has been paid. The date indicates to me that that is the item that we received the EOB on and also the dollar amount listed under total fee confirms that that's the claim I want. You can double click on this claim just to verify the charges that are attached to it and indicate that these are the charges you'd like to submit to the secondary insurance. If you'll notice, this is still the primary claim that we're looking at. So the BAJ insurance is listed on top. If we look at the billing tab of this claim, we can see that the primary claim status says paid and the secondary status says ready to bill. At this point, all we have to do to generate the secondary insurance claim form once again is go to print claim. I'm going to simply make sure I select the official ADA 2012 report that says secondary after it. When I click OK, that essentially is swapping the data so that the secondary insurance information is now under number three and the primary drops down to box number 11. And I would go ahead and print that out at this point. That's how easy it is to create a secondary claim form even if you miss your chance during the auto prompt when you're posting the primary EOB. You can always go back, pull up your primary claim, hit the print button, and just make sure you choose the secondary format of the official ADA form that you'd like to use. If you have any further questions about submitting secondary claims, please feel free to contact Dentamax at 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.